мнение, оно принято уже такое в первом отряде космонавтов, что Гагарин всем от, нам открыл дорогу, всем нам, имеется в виду, в первую очередь космонавты, Гагарин первый нам открыл дорогу в космос. И имя Гагарина, конечно, будет всегда. from space it's really beautiful i remember uh, the words of uh, yuri gagarin he says our uh, blue planet it's uh, pretty fragile pretty small and really beautiful after you go around it uh, time after time after time uh, you know your identity changes uh, you mean you're You know, as Prince Sultan from Saudi Arabia said when he flew, you know, the first day we were pointing at our countries, uh, you know, the second and third day you're looking at your region or your continent, by the fourth or fifth day, you know, you're, you're identifying with the whole world. It takes some luck, it takes some courage, but uh, it's possible for everyone to, to go these ways. And looking back on Yuri Gagarin, I think this, this is the true message that uh, He started um, and opened up all these possibilities for the ones that came after him and flew into space. The flight of Yuri Gagarin is uh, one of the most exciting activities and events of the 20th century. And uh, it changed people's emotional outlook about life on this planet. and. Uh, I tell people that those who think that the sky is the limit never heard of Yuri Gagarin. I was two years old when Yuri left the Earth, so it's been my entire lifetime that humans have first left the Earth and then learned all the things we've learned ever since. Our own capabilities, the changes to our own bodies, and then the opportunities that lie uh, beyond our atmosphere. And we really owe it all to, to Yuri's initial payakali as he left the Earth and to to his perspective that he gave us on the world. He was a tremendous first explorer for us to leave the planet, and he left a legacy that all of us have followed. It's to you more direct when you, you see through your own eyes. Uh, this thing that's only 90 minutes to orbit the Earth, and you don't see borders, and you also see how thin the atmosphere is, and uh, knowing the problem we may have with the climate change due to how it changed the atmosphere composition. It gets more immediate these concerns that we have to be careful about our Earth and, and we need to live together peacefully. During the day it's very much about nature. You see these huge clouds, uh, you know, hurricane systems, you see uh, mountain ranges, you see enormous rivers that are uh, flowing out in, in you know, huge deltas of, of uh, 
you know, roiling water and dirt that are flowing out into the ocean. And so you don't really see the borders or the boundaries very well. In fact, it's kind of hard to see humans at all during the day. It's, it's so dominated by the majesty of the Earth. But at night, when you're on the night side of Earth, the only thing you can see are the lights that human beings have created. So the night side of Earth belongs to humans. I think everyone, uh, you know, should honor the fact that we've gone half a century where human beings have flown into space. As long as we're headed in that continuing direction outward to explore the frontiers, I think that's the most important element of exploration and Yuri's night uh, symbolizing that, that impulse. When you go into space, when you are on board a spacecraft, you understand how actually very unimportant are things that separate us here on Earth and how great are the things that unite us.